Hello Planning Masters and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I will be showing you several exercises that will help you to not just improve your doodling, but also just pump a little bit of your creativity skills. If you're new here, I'm Masha and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, planning, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. With that being said, let's dive in. First of all, let me mention that I do have a huge blog post with many more creativity exercises that I will link in the description, so be sure to check that out. But here today we're doing three, which are probably my favorite ones. So the first one is to turn shape into something else. So here you see me drawing different shapes. I will be doing a square, a circle, and a triangle. And then the goal of this exercise is to sit down and turn these shapes into some kind of a doodle. Now, the important part is that you should not use pencil. You should use directly pen. That way you just go straight for it. You don't give yourself time to rethink, time to overthink you just go for it. And it does not have to be super pretty or fancy. As you can see, my doodles here are not the prettiest at all. The idea here is just to train your brain to see different things as basic shapes. Every time I do this exercise, it becomes a little bit easier. And every time I come up with more and more things that are actually this one basic shape. This really helps learning how to doodle because the key to doodling is actually learn how to see things in their basic shapes. Speaking of that, if you are interested in learning how to doodle, I will link below a huge post tutorial where I share all my top secrets on how to learn to doodle from complete zero. Also, in our resources vault, we actually have a printable with all these shapes already created for you. So all you would need to do is to print it out and start doodling. All the links will be in the description if you want to check that out. The next exercise is on creativity as well. And here the goal is to draw one thing in many different ways. For this video, I chose a thing coffee. So for me, it was mostly coffee cups, but I also drew some coffee makers and coffee pots. This one is probably the most difficult for me because Drawing one thing in so many different ways really pushes your boundaries, but it's a great, great workout for your brain. And there are several ways you can go with it. You can put a timer and just time yourself and draw as many things as you want on that time. Probably three minutes would be a good time for this exercise. Otherwise, you can also just be like, I'm going to draw this one thing 30 times. Doesn't matter how much time it takes. So it's kind of up to you. Personally, I prefer the time limit because when you have time restrictions, you tend to kind of think better and faster, I feel like. But as with all exercises here, the important part is to use straight pen and just go with whatever the first thing that comes into your head. Just be sure that you're picking something that is pretty easy to doodle, like maybe a tree or a cacti or a cup, something that's not too sophisticated. So, you know, it doesn't become a huge art challenge.
The next exercise is kind of a storytelling one. The goal here is to come up with a character and just draw this character in different ways as if you're telling a story. For example, my first character is a notebook and my first doodle is just a notebook. In my second doodle, you see my notebook completely freaked out because some pages were ripped out. And as we go, you see that I kind of create different situation for this little notebook. Like it found love, it had a friend, it was sleeping with other notebooks. And you see below, I'm doing kind of the same thing with the coffee cup. This exercise just kind of makes you think a little bit outside of the box on what kind of life could this character have? What kind of situation would make them unhappy or happy? It's just a fun thing to do. I wanted to say thank you to all my patrons for their support as well as everyone who supports me on coffee. Thank you guys and I will see everyone in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!